The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, you get the uh, Dow Industrials down 225, Nasdaq's off 55, S&Ps are off uh, 22. And, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. Going to see the banner either on the top or the side, or both actually. You can hit that banner, bring the account up. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these contracts trade. And of course, don't forget our man, Mr. Daryl Martin. Great show every Wednesday, Thursday, noontime. We have this show on Friday mornings. Uh, it's a defined, uh, um, Nadex products, a defined risk. Uh, in a highly volatile market like this. Is this a highly volatile market? Oh my is it? God. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. You know, we but just. But like you put it in the last hour, right? But the Dow only opened down 1%. I right? know. That's, I know. That's, that's all. No, I completely I, agree. It's like right. that, it, it, when markets only open down 1% or up 1%. That's that's a volatile market, that's and that's volatile how things market. get described. There's no doubt. Yeah. And, you know, what is intriguing here is that these numbers look big. Uh, these numbers are not big compared to where Asia, I mean, uh, Europe is. Uh, if we take a look at the DAX, the DAX is down, uh, the DAX is getting hit pretty good in Germany. So the DAX right now is off 2.7%. That is one move, man. And just the Dow is down like 220, 230 right now. We were down 285 right. 10 minutes ago, right. just to put it in. So. And in percentage, that's only 1.3%. Yes. No. Yeah, so, no, two percent is with Europe for sure. And like that, we talked about last hour, same thing, but talking about, you know, next week looming. That's that's what is in full context. I always context is important, you know, perspective is important and it's not just a Friday in the market, it's a Friday in the market before the Fed yeah. meets next week to raise rates possibly for the first time in Nine we'll call years. It forever. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Forever, I know. Forever. It's from my forever. I've never looked at uh, whether it be a, a housing loan, a, a car loan, anything like that that's that's in anything but a zero interest rate of environment. How you want to talk about car loans? I mean, people used to oh. pay money for for car loans, you know? That's 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 why, you know, that's that's yeah. the world. That, that seems like anybody will give you their product for 0% these days, and that's, that's the world. There's no it. doubt. Yeah. There's no that doubt. Might, that might change. Did you see, uh, you know, this, this is how intense negative rates are, folks, is that they, two days ago in the journal that they had in, in the Netherlands and in Sweden, there's, if you have a floating mortgage, a floating okay. rate, rate mortgage, yep. the bank is paying you interest every month. Instead okay. of you paying the okay. bank, that would now be, you I still have to pay that. your principal. Right, no, but no. The, the, the rate floated to negative for that. Yeah, That's the, the that. rate floated to negative. And, and <laughs> you know what? Good for them though, because to be in a floating rate loan right now, what are you doing? Well, maybe that that's what must that's where the market sends it. Because who would ever be in a floating rate loan right now, right? I know. Unless actually they're like, okay, well, if you're going to have exposure 30 years down the line, then you better be paying me right now because that's not a, right. a real deal where I'll right. pay interest in a floating rate versus a fixed. It's amazing. Man. It is. It's absolutely that's amazing. Cool. It, isn't that's it? Well, cool. I, I mean, it's that's where your head just starts going. Oh man, oh, it, what is what is going on? If like. Well, I, you know, I had been talking about. Nobody knows that. I've been talking about world, negative because, rates for a while, yeah. but I never realized that negative. Mortgage, right? Yeah, that would negative either. rates that's, would realize that. I'm surprised that news stations, just for the fascination of that I'm story, haven't picked it up. No, exactly. Yeah. Daryl Martin, what's going on? How's it going, man? How you doing? Hey, hey. Going good, man. Yeah? There's, there's, good. No, there's no doubt we got action out here. We, we find it. There's always a place to find that action out there. Sometimes it's just a little well, bit I, easier than others, yeah. though. <laughs> Sometimes it's crawling with action. Right. Sometimes it's hiding around the corner. You know, and if you take a look at this oil market, folks, it's going to be intriguing. You know, uh, the, the oil market did bust through the, the, that 36 area. Uh, it's back on the other, well, it's 36 yeah, we, and... We were under 3580, and now we're back above 36. Yeah. You know, so there's, uh, there's lots of... Uh, that oil market, man, is just amazing. That if, if in fact, uh, we're going to stay down at these lows, the, it, it seems that it does more destruction to the market than, uh, you know... Yeah. 
Yeah. The, yeah. The, there's no, there's no yeah, doubt. It hasn't quite been figured out how the market reacts as oil jumps one way or the other. Right, right. And we all have extra cash, of course. I <laughs> love it. Yeah. Sad. You love those pumps. Buck 90? Sure. So well, the last time we had like all the, you know, non-precious metals and oil and all the stuff that's low, I mean, it was, it preceded a pretty rough market. Yes. It did. Yes. It did. Uh, but yeah, we are, uh, we're bouncing off the 0.7 deviation level right now. So. And the 0.7, is that oil? Are we talking the markets in general? That's oil. Okay. Right so now. let's go through the markets. Where are we with the deviation levels uh, inside the marketplaces? I see. So if we go over to um, one of the ones that I, I know are your favorites, NASDAQ here. Yeah. And I've been trading that a lot lately. Isn't that fun? If you really ever trade it, then you just did <laughs> something to me. Yeah. And uh, let's see here. We got it is sitting at one deviation. Literally okay. Yeah. On the negative side there. So down one deviation. So it's that's going to be a hard place to bust through. Yes. Right. No, no doubt. And so what happens, folks, is that, you know, when you hit these deviation levels, what's really cool is that then you can take the context of where you are in the marketplace, how much energy it took to get there, and then where you are between the t that time frame and the end of the market. That's how I kind of look at it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, you know, the market will have two or three hours to build cars here to break it. That's sure. my take on it. You know, but if it doesn't, well, guess what? By 1.30, 2 o'clock this afternoon, it will flatten out. Trailer. You know, and uh, you know, that's where if you if you're shot, great. You, you push your stops up. You don't want to be going shot at one of those levels. That's for sure. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. You unless you see some massive, which actually we're really low on volume. So as well right now too. So for the 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 average volume that we expect at this time of day. Okay. So it's really low. So I know some of that is I'm starting to see some transition over a little bit into uh, the you know March contract. Yeah. So, but uh, they're not massive yet, but it's starting to happen. Yeah. The the what do, sorry. And that can mess with your volume readings a little bit right during that transition period. Yeah, there's no doubt. And you know, you know well, what I do wh when that happens is that if you, you do the, I do the correlation between the, if you're doing the NQs, then go right into spiders. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Do you know what I mean? Yep. You, you, uh -huh. you, you kind of look at the, the cues, the spiders, and say, okay, is there expansion or a contraction of volume? That, that, that'll give you, you know, at least an inclination of uh, is there more selling or buying? And you got DIA for, you know, if you're a Dow trader, you got the what, yes. IWM, yeah. if you like trading the Russell. Right, big time. Uh, the uh, the gold contract, uh, it's going to be intriguing to see uh, if that baby can stay up. You know, it's only up a buck sixty, but what you do have is that it rejected that lower price. What I, what I like in that context and that gold is that the correlation um, of markets going down and gold going against it we haven't had that it, it we've, we've had that last you know couple months but you know 2009 guess what in 2008 markets go down gold goes down gold went from 1133 to 666 in a heartbeat yeah you know it went right with I the remember markets. that myself yeah I do. right yeah. with the markets you know um the, the market out here right now folks uh it's it's just deviant enough you know you're getting uh, S and P's. How about these bounces in the S and P's, Daryl? Right? You know, they it bounces eight or nine points in like a heartbeat. Oh, I know it's been fantastic. I mean, yeah. we had that like we had that one week. You know, and it's pretty normal. You know, I guess two weeks right around Thanksgiving. Yes. Where things sort of just, ooh, you know, and then uh, but then it came back. I mean it, and it. I mean, it, nine points was a day, and now nine points is like, oh, there went ten minutes. It yeah, is. Nine points is ten minutes now. There's no. That's that's kind of just how it's been shaken out too, which is just amazing, man. Uh, you know. So what you want to do when when you have something like that, folks? Uh, I happen to use the fib numbers on that. You know what I mean? Because what what happens with the fib numbers, even a point three eight two bounce can be a large bounce in the context of how far did you just go down in this market for in this sure. market yeah. in this market you know what i mean so we're trying looking over at the s&p it's also at one deviation it's just oscillating with a lot of block orders this morning sitting right at that one deviation i mean there's a it's just a battle of buys and sells my chart's almost like unreadable there's so many block orders happening so now, now that's interesting because the you know it it is saying you know right now even at the markets uh, you know it's saying that the, the dipsters and the bulls are still here and, you know it really you know because guess what you're at a Friday the S and P's are down twenty that's nothing really 
No. Right? No. There's no you know, acceleration. Not compared, not There's no acceleration. Not compared open. to what we have had. Yeah. And, yeah. and compared to what the open was. Yeah. We're above yeah. where the open is. So that's, yeah. I mean, yeah. well, but I guess we're right at open almost. We're getting blocks of two and 300 on both the buy and the sell side in this range that we're in right now between 2020 and 2030. Wow. That's, that's, that's a good battle. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a good battle. What we do have, let me just see something for a second. I believe we're going to have the volume, though, when we broke this swing point. Um, when we did the update at 10, 10 o'clock, there's real juice inside. We're 40. Yeah, we're going to have it. We, so we should have it. You're at 45 million and the spy already and only needs 160. Um, you know, the volume would have to die down pretty tr tremendously in order to uh, not have uh, over 160 today. If we look at the uh, NDX 100, you're dealing with. 12 million right now and we're talking uh 42 you know so uh in the inside the ndx right now uh this the this the weakness is uh let's see so you got the weakness is uh, seagate technology win good old win yep yeah, um garmin and western digital the strength is whole foods that's up a buck 60 adobe's up 276 Alexa Pharmaceutical is up 169, and the the IBB really still hasn't fallen apart yet. It's down 460. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Dow Martin, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. We're going to be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are down 207. Nasdaq's off 56. S&P's are down uh, 21. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You know what's cool? 
taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, you get the Dow down at 209, NASDAQ's down 60, S&Ps are off uh, 23. We have gold up uh, 210. 10-year is up 17 ticks, 30's up a point and a half, and uh, good old king dollar is down uh, 270. Um, hey, so y'all gonna be on Wednesday, uh, Fed Day, Yep. And, you know, it, what's really cool, folks, is that, uh, so picture, it's going to be 2 p.m. that the announcement's going to be on. Daryl's on at 12, so don't miss that show because I'm sure that we're going to have some, <laughs> you're going to have some strategies that are going to be set up. Because that is going to be, you know, this is really unique. I mean, in the, in the context that it's nine years, you know, we can all speculate what the market's going to do. It's like, wow, okay, what, what's going to happen yeah, it's here? It's all speculation right? because there's so right. much they've at play. Been, they've been crying wolf so many times that they're right. going to raise it. They haven't raised it, but it seems like now everything says they're going to raise it. And they've said and so, that they have to raise it. And so, and it, and, But if they're, are they going to raise it right into the little Christmas, I guess what you should call a rally? <laughs> but it's not going so well. Are they going to do it? I mean, and I've seen a bunch of other negative numbers come in on commodities and all that stuff. Are they going to add fuel to that fire or are they going to back off? You yeah. Know? So it's, I mean, it, it's if they don't do it, the market's going to be surprised. If they do oh, do yeah. it, I think the market is still going to be a bit surprised. <laughs> so. I agree. No, you know what's interesting is that it's trading like, you know, it's going to happen. People, I think, are paranoid, right? But at the same <laughs> Say just even saying that it's like guess what when reality hits it's like oh man they actually did it yep you know they what are the implications oh man that's yeah right? how much right. are they going to raise it next time that's, and what are the implications they're going to be at ten percent before the year's over oh my right. you know whole Charlie Brown yep. world's ending thing it just immediately jumps to the, a different the level Grinch. That, right the Grinch Janet Yellen the Grinch <laughs> they want those interest rates oh man those pictures are going to be everywhere on the news now you're going to see it right oh man. And there's no the doubt. The Fed wants their interest. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Crashes the economy. Right? It's, yeah. Well, you know what? what you, I can't wait to see what the implied volatility is going to be. Yeah. Because just like we're like, talking is a, about. Is $100 widespread going to have like $80 a premium? <laughs> right? No, I mean, because if it doesn't. How do you price that? If you're right, if it doesn't, then sure. you'll be buying them all day. So who's going to be the person selling that opportunity without taking some serious premium? I would. You there's know, there's right. no doubt. Yeah. There's no yeah. doubt. I mean, I'm going to be looking first at premium plays, and then if they're just ridiculously low, <laughs> stupid, I, then I'm going to hop in the other side. Cool. Right. But, yeah. That would make sense. And that's why the market sets itself, right? Because yeah. you're, you're looking for that opportunity, just like you buy your sellers. Well, and what's interesting on the Nadex options market is, you, you know, you have a couple. They're looking on adding in some more market makers, and especially on the spreads. Yes. And uh, Because they're getting so much more popular. And... Um, so, you know, it's not as much as, like, you know, the full pricing of market participants with, you know, tens of thousands of traders all putting in their bids and offers. Okay. So, um, now, you know, so that's just, it's, uh, I, I think basically, like, it's a lot easier for them to get it wrong at this point. Right, right. There's not which as many part participants. Which, which is, so as a trader, you have an opportunity which is great. To, yeah. to maybe find an area where there might be an opportunity on one side or the other, right? Where, where there's an opportunity, basically. No doubt. Yeah. All right. now, one of the things I have up right now on my screen yes. uh, that I want to go over that I think just, it's an important reminder is, uh, is rollover. 
Okay, cool. Let's do that. Especially when you're trading Nadex. Yeah. Uh, like, okay, if you hop on the CME Group's website and you go to the S&P and you look at their roll page. Yes. Okay, they define rollover as basically yesterday. Okay. Okay. And uh, you can go in. We can find all the different ones on the different equity indexes, and they have the Nikki rolling over now. Yes. Um, so, but anyway, so though you know, this is one example of roll, you know, roll dates. But uh, basically, roll over as yesterday. Now you can look at it, and technically, they are right because as of ten minutes ago, March S and P, you know, or whatever futures are, you know, a couple hundred thousand against, uh, you know, December. Right. Okay. Okay. So technically, that's what a roll is, is whenever the volume moves to the next month. Higher than the, the present correct. month. Yes, okay. exactly. Now, now, one thing I do tell traders is don't get all freaked out and feel like you have to roll on roll date. It's not like last trade date. Right. Okay. Right. I usually, I honestly, I prefer usually to wait to the end of the week. So I'll go in on Friday, and then I'll roll my stuff over. Yeah. But it doesn't really matter which way you like to do it. Just, you know, be consistent on it. Um, now, if you're a Nadex trader... Okay, this is where this becomes really important is you're trading a derivative that's going to expire based on a specific future month. Yes. So if we go over and we look at, you know, what is the U.S. tech on right now, okay? Yes. Then we can notice that it says, hey, it's on December. Right. You know, or if we look at any one of... This is crucial, folks. Yeah. The contracts, if you open, I mean, and you don't have to, this isn't even... Um, it's an easy thing, but I'll show you the easiest way to know. 100% sure before we spend the ticket, I'll show you how to do that when we get back. Perfect. You Great stay right info. there, folks. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Dow Martin, uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, and we're going to have uh, Mike from Dallas when we're coming back. Uh, right now, uh, we have the uh, uh, Dow down 171, NASDAQ off 51, SP's off 18. We're going to be right back. It's true. Life is all about choices. At EverBank, they're making it easy for you to make a smart one with this special cash offer. Open a new yield pledge money market account with funds from another financial institution or deposit new funds into an existing yield pledge money market account and you could earn up to a $500 cash reward. And if you're opening a new account, you'll also get their new higher six-month bonus interest rate along with their yield pledge promise that ensures your yield will always be in the top 5% of competitive accounts at banks nationwide. Open a new account or add to one. It's your choice. To qualify, you must meet balance and other limited time offer requirements. Go to everbank.com forward slash TFNN for details and deposit options or speak with one of their banking specialists at 1-855-750-4051 for more information. You must act by December 31st, 2015 to be eligible. Everbank is a member FDIC. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. 
TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Tommy O'Brien, Dow Martin, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling problem with us out here. Uh, Dow's uh, down a buck eighty-three. You got the Nasdaq off fifty-four, and um, the uh, Daryl's uh, walking us yeah. through uh, these rolling rolls. Those contracts. And this is really important, folks, in the context of trading the, the what Nadex product. Knowing yeah. what you're actually trading, exactly. For sure. Right. Uh, Exactly. So what we were talking about was all the contracts rolling over, like all the major indices rolling over right now. Yes. And, you know, uh, the U.S. indices and Nikkei and all that. And as a futures trader, you can go with the front one or the back one. I mean, they're not that far apart, like the Thursday and Friday that they roll. Right. You know, come Monday, you're going to want to be on March. Right. So, you know, what I do when I'm done trading today, I clean up all my charts, all my scanners, all my, you know, little special projects everywhere. And everything I have open, and I move it on over to the end of the month. That's why I like to do it on Friday, because then I'm just done with trading for the week. Yes. Um, it's part of my, you know, closing down the week ritual. What needs to roll. Oil also, by the way. So, uh, well, on Nadex, not only do they list the name, but it, when you open a ticket on the Nadex platform. Right. Okay, or, you know, on the scanner or, yep. you know, whatever. Um, it'll actually have it in the name of the contract. Right. So right there, yep. let me try to zoom this. I'm just trying to get the focus yeah, no, on that one spot. We can see it even right now. We can. December yeah, okay. 15th. Yep. So right there, December 15th. 2015. So, yeah. And of course, when you come up on Monday or it, at 3 a.m. when the futures open up over on Nadex right. for their contracts, it'll say Jan 16. Or no, March 16. Yes. M-A-R-16. Okay. So that's when you know... I, Hey, December may still be trading because it won't be last trade date. That's right. That's <laughs> so, right. But, but people, it's it's sort of interesting because people aren't really as used to unless they trade oil where they're rolling every month. When they're trading the you know the indices, it's once a quarter. Oh, yeah. listen, man. When this first, when I first started trading the Nadex, okay, there's no doubt. I was trading the futures and all over here. I, I said, holy man, I got to, I got to disconnect here, man. What's going on? Yeah, yeah to reconnect that disconnect. Yeah, and well, it, it, ha it happened to be all right because it, whether you're going well, long or short, it's the same thing. It's but, not a big deal, as Daryl says, but you, it can matter. So oh, but, you better well, have... well, you can look at it and you can think you're either up That's a lot what, or down a lot. Especially it's like, if you're, oh, no, no, you're trading okay. a binary around that area. You're okay. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, binary, you think, Oof. I'm in the money. Yeah. I should be That's a real awakening. Right. And then all of a sudden, you find out you're, you know, 10 points off. Yes, exactly. And this is the thing, you know, go try the demo. We talk about it. This yep. is the kind of stuff that you just want to get used to. And you go in there, you play with the demo, you pull up the contracts, and you just get used to it. No and doubt. once you get it, it's really easy. Yeah. You know? Yes. And I mean, like in our scanner, we push out when there's rollovers. We say, hey, there's a rollover. Nadex and, and the live platform, I don't know why they don't do it in the demo, but in the live platform, they push out there's rollovers. Oh, and yeah. Nadex also just launched a new thing, by the way. Um, they have now made it to where when you go get a demo account, it lasts like 40 years. Perfect. That's so. Yeah. So each other thing where like it lasted two weeks. Yeah. You had to and you could always account, request them and, to extend it, but the, it was, yeah, yeah. Now it's just automatic. Boom. It's good. It's huge. So I'm sure you can get a, if you have one, you can get it extended. But yeah. if you want to oh. go get one over on the Nadex website, you know, from go to tfnn.com, click on Nadex. Yep. Yes. And then um, under trading. So here I'll show everybody where it's at. So Perfect. we'll start at TFNN so you can find the yep. link. And once you click on that, so go on over to TFNN.com, and then right here on the right side, you'll see the Nadex link. So yes. click on that, and then um, it'll take actually it takes you right into yeah. it now. 
Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty sweet. That's new. And they and can re refinish your account. You know, I when I first started doing the demo account, I think they start with twenty five grand. And I think I lost that twenty five grand five times before I built it up like seven hundred grand. You know, yeah. so you just go they, they will do, They'll do a couple things for you. They'll they'll rebuild it back up to twenty. They won't take it past twenty five grand. Yeah. So you got to you got to take it past twenty five grand. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, so they'll make it get past twenty five grand, but they'll rebuild it back up to that. Another cool thing that I tell people to do. There's a lot of people that, you know, they plan on coming in with, like, say, 3000 or, you know, whatever yes. to start out with. And they're like, well, how do I get ready to trade live? And I tell them, I said, like, call Nadex and tell them to take it down to whatever your live balance is going to cool. be. So that way that helps mimic that yeah. reality. Yeah, you know? so point. That's a great it's point. It's at 25 and say, if you're going to put in three grand, yeah. call them and say, make my account three grand. That's awesome. And then my simple rule for new traders is, you know, before you can trade a dollar live, take Trade your own balance like you would be trading it on demo. Yes. And trade with good risk management. Yeah. Like define a risk management plan, you know, whatever method that may be. Right. And uh, mine is like if I hit 5%, I stop, you know. It was just huge. Um, yeah. And then trade consistent rules. In other words, not like having a nifty trigger finger, taking extra trades you're not supposed to, right. and, you know, following your rules on your exits. Do that for 20 days. And this is, this is what it does is it, it's a psychological painful point. Because you have to be consistent and have good rest management, and you have to literally have 20 trading days. And that's a full month, by the way, folks. Yeah. Trading. So right. that's a good exactly. deal. Yeah, 20 is. trading days, and you don't get to trade live until you do that. Now, yeah. they don't give you that rule. I'm saying give yourself that rule. Yes. If you can make yourself be that disciplined, because you'll probably have to, it may take you two or three months to get past 20 days straight. Right. Okay. Right. You have a lot better chance. <laughs> If you could do all that and be profitable, so you know, good risk management, you know, and then following your system rules, and you know, actually netting a profit at the end, without breaking, because anybody can go in and oh, I'll, I'll throw on a hundred contracts right now and just yeah, you know, right. end up positive. <laughs> right. right, following right. all three rules and twenty days straight. The biggest thing in trading, I've taught trader systems that literally we got fifty of us doing the exact same thing. And you get 40 of them not making money on the exact same markets because they're not following the rules. Emotion can so, take over at any time, man, again. It, exactly. So if you get that discipline in place, then like you want to trade live because everybody wants to get in there and they want to start making money now. You yeah, know? no doubt. No, then no. it hurts, which makes demo serious and not just a video game. Yeah. When, when it's just starting to hit buttons and see what happens, and I'm going to throw 100 on, oh, look at that, I made 10 grand, yep. and, you know, whatever. Yep. But, you know, oh, I lost 5000 Not really, because I don't remember that because it didn't hurt at all, right? <laughs> right. Because it's a demo. <laughs> right. So you don't learn anything from it because of that. But if you can make it where it actually impacts your pocketbook by you not being able to trade by following those rules, I, I found a lot of success. That's with new good, because yeah, that, that. that is the uh, penalty. Right. Yeah. It's closer exactly. to real. And you it's get closer. the penalty. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. And it gives you a financial emotional penalty because you can't start making any money because exactly. you don't have the discipline That's to great. follow your rules. Yeah. Right. No doubt. And if you don't and if you do follow all the rules for twenty days and you're not making money, well man, that was the cheapest trading you ever did. Yeah. yeah. Take some time and do it again. Start it again. <laughs> exactly. No, right. We need to do it again. Yeah. 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 The market is the most expensive teacher. You know, experience is the worst teacher, not the best teacher, you know? Yes. So it's the most painful Sometimes and lessons teacher. can be expensive for sure. Exactly. So, you know, give yourself a way to make it somewhat real, like, you know, using those three rules of, or I guess four rules, same account size, good risk management, follow your rules for 20 days, and net profit. You put that f four pieces together, then you can be that small, potentially be that small percentage that actually makes it in trading. Yeah. That's, yeah. Let's go to Mike in Dallas. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Mike. Thanks, th thanks for holding, man. Appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, Daryl, uh, so you're are you uh, rolling everything over in your Nadex uh, today? You said at the end of the day when I'm done trading, I will. Okay. So all, all right. my I, all the scanners will automatically roll over, and then I'll roll over okay. all my charts. You know, I use Ninja Trader, so I'll roll okay. over all my charts at the end of the day. I'll update my instrument manager and my charts and templates and everything else, right. and everything will be in okay. you know March and all that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, I'll do the same thing, and your your advice. Uh, I think that is excellent, okay, about uh, using uh, the amount of money that you would have and do it in a SIM account. I think that's excellent. Uh, my third uh, or second question, I trade uh, the on uh, Nadex, and I trade the uh, 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 binaries, and I also trade the... Uh, uh, the, the, the block trades and 
I was asking, I wanted to ask you on NASDAQ, I know that we look at uh, the percentage that Apple is part of NASDAQ and, and some of the others. Google, when yeah. Yeah, when you trade the DAX, do you also follow the the stocks that that are going to drive the DAX? I I, I've not been, I guess, disciplined about that on the DAX. Um, I mean, I do trade the DAX probably yeah, about one too. or two times a week. Um, I don't trade it as often on NADEC because it ticks a little bit higher. It ticks like at one point versus half points. Um, I like the ones that tick lower, like Nate, like Nasdaq now ticks at point one versus point two five. Right. So it ticks faster. I like it when Nadex ticks faster than the underlying market. Um, doesn't make it a bad market to trade because Nasdaq has some, you know, pretty nice moves on it. Right. Um, Tommy or Tom would probably be the best one to say what would be the stocks to watch. I'm yeah. not as familiar with the weighting on the DAX. Unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I can I can pull it up. I'm not either. What has happened, Mike, is this. It's like the DAX today is down uh, to a two and a half percent, and there's not one stock that's positive inside the DAX. Why don't you bring that over so people can yeah. see as you're looking? So at it. if you, uh, what you could do though, I mean, you know, I'd be even over the weekend, I'll find out what the the larger weighting structures are because the DAX does trade like the Dow Industrials, meaning that there's 30 stocks in it. Um, right. You know, exactly. so uh, let's see, a free float shares index. It's really like are there two or three that just really? There, there probably is. I just don't. It. I just don't know that. Yeah. I, I do know it's that. It's sort of funny you asked me that. I'm like, you know, I've never looked at that, and I totally should. You know, have, I yeah. do know that when uh, you know Volkswagen was going south, that right. was that well, was drug out of the whole yeah everything. Yeah, that was that an effect. Oh too. my God, yeah. they just they just took that so south so quick. It was like insane. So yeah. I mean, just pull you know Volkswagen up yeah, right down 3 now. Three percent a day. Now this is this is Three in. Points. Yeah, this is in euros. Uh, you know, we were at uh, 129, and uh, okay. man, that's that was a one-way trip down. A 50 percent haircut. Yeah, Volkswagen went from 262 to, uh, to well, it's at 129, but it went 262 to 86. So pretty, pretty amazing, man. No doubt. When I when I, when I mentioned I, I did block trades, I meant to say spreads. <laughs> I know what you meant. I'm, so, yeah. I'm sorry. But okay. that's, that, Mike, we'll, we will check that. I'll check that out uh, today after I, I get off, actually. I, I should be able okay, to. Joe. Because that, that I, I, what I've seen is this. That absolutely will help. I do that with every sector. That's why I like trading oil, too. Sure. Because right. The, right. Uh, the XLE, inside the XLE, Chevron and ExxonMobil is almost 50% of it. Yeah. So it's really well, cool. I've, I found that the technical sector within the DAX is has is been a, a pretty good indicator, and and you can get that uh, separately as far as quotes go, and it'll give you a little bit of an indicator, but it doesn't show the uh, the companies involved. It's I see. Just okay. A sector within the DAX, which is called the tech. So. Anyway, we'll get that for you, man. Okay, thank you. Okay. See yeah. you all. Thanks. Have, Have a so great much. one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go to our man, Vince, in uh, New Jersey. Hey, Vince, what's going on, man? Not so much, Tommy. It's great, hey, Vince. Great, great to hear from yesterday. you, man. I feel better. Uh, nice. You sound better, too. I don't hear, I don't hear that uh, little machine going in the background right now. <laughs> Who knows? See that? Uh, all that good white life from all these tigers <laughs> and tigresses got you going, man. It hit me. That, I like it. I feel better today. They I like it, man. Me. I they think I'm faking. I still I feel all right. You sound oh. great, man. Oh. <laughs> you know, I called yesterday. We started to talk, and the uh, a band came up on TV and said, "Credit crisis." Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, I, I watched from the hospital, and I noticed the market. Uh, Got, got hammered a little bit. So can you tell me what's going on? Well, this, this is what happened yesterday, folks. Okay, you know, the market sold off the last couple of days, but what did happen yesterday is this: is that one of the large mutual funds uh, stopped letting people take their money. A high yield bond fund. High yield bond fund. At, and that's really unusual. They stopped redemptions. They stopped yeah. redemptions, okay? They had $2 billion, um, 
six months ago, the clients already took out one billion. They have seven hundred and eighty-nine million left, and wow. that's a that's a problem. That's and if you look at uh, if we bring they up, address, they have liquidity issues. They, they do. Yeah. And if you pull up H Y G, okay, H Y G is <laughs> they is, have it. Yeah. And, well, H Y G is a high yield corporate bond, you know, ETF, and you're going to see this has been a, on a one way route um, down. So what happens is this, is that the thing that's amazing to me is that the, the high yield bond market in particular, right? All, you know, you need a bid and an offer in, in a market, right? Well, the high yield bond market, folks, has a bid and an offer, but the spread between that can be like two, three, four, five points at a time. Yeah. Because picture something, if I say to you, Tom, hey, listen, man, I got a great company. You know, it's XYZ company. You're looking at me like, I never heard of XYZ company. <laughs> I better be, right. Okay? And that's what a high yield bond market is. Yeah. You know, so. There's like, a reason why you're getting more of an interest it rate. It is. Just, you know, that, to put it in, <coughs> right. in simple terms. You just have to. So, yeah. so what's happened, Vince, is this, is that there are a lot of high yield bonds out there. Unfortunately, they are, uh, many of them are inside ETF structures. And many of them are inside now IRAs. And in this case, mutual fund, which is almost, you know, if you're in a hedge fund or a private equity fund, you know inside the prospectus that that can happen at any point. It's hard to comprehend that you can buy a mutual fund and you can, they can say you, you can't get your money back until, you know, the future. Yeah. Vince, stay right there uh -oh. with us, all right? Come right back. We got our man Vince from New Jersey, uh, Dow Martin, Tom, and Tommy O'Brien. Dow is down, down 209, NASDAQ's off 63, S&P's off 22. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long 
long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And uh, the Nasdaq's the one that's making a move for the uh, lows out here. So we'll see uh, where this uh, thing shakes out. It's down 65, and a Apple's Apple's one of the culprits. And Apple's only down uh, two dollars. Uh, we got our man uh, Vince from New Jersey. And so Vince, uh, the the big deal with this this high yield bond is, I think, I would say that people just can't get their money back right now. And yeah. so the the question's going to be. Um, if, in fact, Yellen goes up on rates, it would make sense that if the rates go up, then high-yield bonds are going to be worth even less in price. <laughs> so that is trouble in paradise, you know. And, of course, I think people don't get in mutual funds, you know, not to get their money back. I mean, people yeah. are in the market, I think, and they, they know it's a risk, but, hey, listen, they hit a button and say, okay, I get my money back, I have something. Sure. So. And it's tough because it's not a super liquid market, not the type where they need to, to liquidate that type of, of right. position. Right. There's, there's not a bid. Yeah. There's not a right. bid, man. Yeah, yeah. I can know. see the comments. There's not a bid they want to take. The door's not yeah. big enough for everybody to sit through. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Get out. They don't want the price that it would take for everybody to get out that door. Right. They could get out of it, but not at, at right. current market. That's what kind of a haircut? Exactly. Yeah. You know, so... So you think maybe they're waiting till after this uh, rate, and if it doesn't increase, you know, if oh, no, I think they're in trouble. Yeah, they just they, can't they, get out, so yeah. they're scrambling. Well, well, what also happens is this. So picture this: when when I used to buy bankrupt bonds in the '80s, right? When you know, when you're in that market. And this was an illiquid market. I was buying the illiquid market because I was buying airline bonds and swapping the airline bonds for airline tickets, okay? So it wasn't a big market, <laughs> right? So what happened is that, like, at Christmas time, right, at the end of the quarter, I would just sit there and say, well, I know there's only two buyers. And so they'd call and say, well, you know, they'd want 80 cents on the dollar. So I'll give you 60 cents on the dollar. Yeah, I'm and surprised you went that high. Right. Well, exactly. no, I didn't. No, I I'm just giving yeah. you a, right. it, because no, I, didn't, yeah. I didn't care whether right. I had them or not. Right. You know what I mean? Because exactly. I knew I could get them cheaper. So that's what they're facing. And that is, you know, the less liquidity, the more opportunity right. there is for, for you to get maybe a better deal outside of the it's, exact it, equilibrium. Because it, people want out. Well, there's a premium okay. if you want out. Right. So you're feeling better, Vince. Say again? Yeah, I'm feeling better, Tom. That's good. So uh, you know, the only problem is I had a stroke a couple of years ago. The flap that cuts off the uh, the channel, more or less, right to the lungs, doesn't close. So it goes food goes into my lungs. I aspirate. I go to the oil. I have to go to hospital. Well, then we just got to get you on a good liquid diet. We got to get you good some good. Uh, you know, let's say. Tangeray. Yes, Tangeray. 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 <laughs> exactly. Exactly, it's a man. Nice December totally. Holiday, holiday totally. Sure. Yeah, I like that, man. <laughs> I like that. 
So, hey, Tommy, thank you. No, thank you, man. Hey, listen, so... Uh, and re regards to Tommy. Yes, Vince. Tommy Jr. Of course. How are you? Good, Tommy. Good to talk to you, man. I remember talking <laughs> to you many times, of course, on that phone with my dad. I'm like a bad penny. I keep coming back. No, no you're like a All good... The, yeah, the good like, pennies come back, too. Totally, man. <laughs> you kidding me, man? I love that voice, man. Totally. <laughs> Seriously. Well, listen, we're going to keep sending that good white light out there, man, to get you out of that hospital, back in, back in uh, the big bed, and uh, drinking fluids. Hey, you know, bottom line, there's nothing wrong with fluids. Thanks and, you know, for calling us, man. That's awesome, man. I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Absolutely, Tommy, man. Tommy, you're right on the money all the time. Yeah, I <laughs> wish I was. You and Larry, man. <laughs> uh, the fake rally, I've been hanging in just... Listening to your words, both of you. That's awesome, man. Well, well listen so much, Rally, Vince. you know, Monopoly money is what was keeping this market going. Totally. Okay, man. Well, listen, later. Vince, have a great one, a safe one, and call us back next Monday, all right? Okay, Tommy. Awesome, Tommy. man. Awesome, man. Daryl, thanks so much, man. You have a great weekend, safe weekend. Stay right there, folks. I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Nico Page, Dave White, Steve Rhodes, and myself. Have thanks, a great pal. weekend. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. is TFNN.